boys and girls. Today we're going to be making a melted snowman and we're going to be drawing him kind of from an aerial view, meaning looking down at him from the top. So the first thing we're going to do is sketch out three circles. Now we want our circles to be three different sizes and you could absolutely trace your circles if you wanted to find some circular objects in your house like bowls and cups to trace with you could definitely do that and um, but i want to make my first circle pretty large so my snowman's not too small and then a medium circle and a small circle and i don't want my small circle to be too tiny because of course i want to be able to cut it out now, um, next I'm going to use a gray marker and some water to add some shading to my three circles. Now, if you don't have um, markers and water, you could use any kind of paint. You could use watercolor paint if you have that. You could also use crayon by just kind of coloring a shadow around the edges, like coloring hard and then letting it get a little bit lighter. Um, that would work too. So what I'm going to do is just draw kind of a big thick outline with my gray pencil and then I'm going to take a little bit of water and just kind of blend it. I don't want my whole circle to be gray. Um, all I want to do is kind of create a shadow here. So I'm just kind of softening that marker and creating a shadow. Now if you do use paint or if you use marker and water, probably will want to let that dry just a little bit before you cut it out so you don't accidentally rip your paper. Um, but I am going to cut mine out right away so I can show you what to do next. So I want to cut out my three circles. I'm going to be stacking these on top of each other. And since my paper is still a little wet, I'm going to be extra careful not to rip it. All right, so I've got my three pieces here. And next, I'm going to draw the face on my smallest circle. So for this, I'm going to use a Sharpie, but you could use a black marker, black crayon, black pencil, whatever you've got. And I'm going to, not going to draw in the center because we're looking at the snowman from the top. So his face is going to be kind of on one side. And I'm going to start by drawing two circles for the eyes. And notice I kind of left some space there between the circles and the edge. And then right along the edge, I'm going to draw five smaller circles in a row to make the little coal pieces for his mouth. And I don't have a nose yet. So for my nose, I can use the scrap paper that I cut out of here to make a carrot. So I'm going to grab a little piece of my scrap paper and I'll use an orange marker or crayon or something to draw kind of a small triangle. I want it to be kind of a long Skinny triangle, just the right size for the nose. You can even kind of hold it up to see if it's going to fit. Now, if you have orange paper, you could definitely just cut this out of orange paper if you've got some scrap colored paper laying around or construction paper. Um, so there I've got my little nose and I want to glue it. I want to glue it on right between the eyes and the nose. So I'm going to add a tiny, tiny dot of glue there between my eyes and my mouth. And I'm going to glue it so it looks like you're seeing it from the top, like it's sticking out. So it'll kind of cover part of your mouth maybe there. Okay. So next, I'm going to add, um, I'm going to be putting him on to this medium circle, but I'm going to add kind of the sides of a little scarf and some um, arm sticking out. So I can go ahead and glue him, but I'm only going to put the glue in the center of the circle, um, not too close to the edges, because I want to be able to tuck a couple of pieces of paper under there. So I'm going to glue him on top, let him dry a little bit. Now for the scarf, I'm going to need some kind of scrap paper. You could use magazines, grocery ads. I have um, a little colored paper here that I printed off my computer, and I'm going to cut 
two long rectangles, kind of long skinny rectangles. There's one about like that and two. Now I'm going to tuck the ends of these kind of in a V shape, tuck them underneath my small circle so it looks like his scarf, the ends of his scarf are sticking out here. So underneath this small circle, I'm gonna add a little dot of glue and I'm gonna glue on one piece and two pieces here, kind of sticking in two different directions. Next, I'm gonna need my arms. They're gonna stick out from the sides the same way. And I might even scoot this one forward a little so I have more room for my arms. Now for the arms, same thing. You can use scrap paper, you can use you know paper from a grocery ad or junk mail. If you have construction paper laying around, you could use that too. Now on this one, I wanna kind of draw out a Y shape. So I'm gonna start by adding two lines, two vertical lines, just basically like a rectangle, kind of like I did here. But then on the ends, I'm gonna make diagonal lines going out. And in the center here, I'm gonna add a V, and then I can connect the edges. Now I would wanna draw an arm for each side. So I'm gonna repeat that somewhere else on my paper. And again, if you don't have brown paper, um, you can just use scrap paper, colored papers. You could even go outside and find two little twigs. And if they're really tiny, you might even be able to glue those on. So I'm going to cut out my arms here. And since I drew on these with pencil, I'm going to flip them over because I don't like for my pencil lines to show. So I'm gonna flip it over and use the other side when I glue it down here. So same thing that I did on the scarf. I'm gonna lift the head there, add a little dot of glue, and just tuck the end of that arm underneath his head. So it looks like we're seeing him from above and his arms are kind of sticking out on the side. Then I'm gonna glue my medium circle onto my large circle. I'm just going to kind of hold everything down for a moment, let that glue get sticky. And then my final touch would be to add his little buttons here in the front. And I'm going to do it similar to how I made the eyes and the mouth. I'm going to just kind of draw in two dots on that medium circle, one dot on the large circle, and my little melted snowman is finished.